Ferrari. Diamonds all over my body, shining all over my body. Cardi got your bitch on Molly. Bitch, you ain't gang, you lame. Billy truck laying in the lane. Blow up the brain. I go insane, insane. I drop a check. What's up, guys? It's Ray Fierce, and I'm back with another freaking video. And today, we are talking about wigs and all the stuff that you need to make the wigs. And um, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Okay, sis what you doing okay like hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up if you like the video and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time i upload and don't forget to go follow me on instagram and snapchat those are two that i'm like mainly active on so yeah follow me there and let's get into this video so first things first let's talk about um what you need to actually make the wig on eyes back so you don't want to make the wig on a styrofoam head i see a lot of people using this don't mind this this is this is not for me the dogs tore it up at base my mouse but yeah this is what i used to make my wigs on at first and i started realizing that the wigs were coming out too small or whatever or not exact to the person's head um just in case you want to make wigs for for others this is a video for all okay if you're yourself or for business um styrofoam heads come in one size um they are very small for one they get raggedy fast and yeah you just don't want to be dealing with no styrofoam head and you want the wig to actually fit correctly and you want your clients wigs to fit correctly so next i'm going to talk about wig heads uh canvas heads block heads whatever you want to call them um I have these, as you can see, they are all sitting back here. I have all different sizes. Um, I have 21. This is my head size. And yeah, this is what it looks like. This is the front. This is the back, where the number is. So yeah, you put your wig head on here and you get to work, girl. Get to work. And I think if you're if you just doing it for yourself, you should measure your head. So basically, you want to get a tape measure and you want to measure your head. This is Let me see. So yeah, this is inches and you take it around the back of your head like this to the front, to your forehead part. And where the pink little thing is, you stop it right there. And I am like in between a 21 and a 22. If you can see that right there. Yeah, so you get you a tape measure, measure your head for you or your clients and yeah and i don't think nobody here is bigger than a 24 but you do want to make sure that you have the biggest one because people do have huge heads you know what i'm saying and yeah so i have a 21 22 23 and 24 they also come in 20 and um 23.5 so yeah like just in case they have a half a size and you are also going to need a tripod a stand something to put your wig head on something that is heavy duty because these are not light you don't want to just be getting a regular stand you invest in your product and yeah this is how this thing goes on i like this thing i got this one from amazon um this is the brand right here i absolutely love this stand it's everything and yeah it folds out it's heavy duty it stands up um i have worked with some stands from experience taken from me where the stand moves while you're trying to sew or trying to flat iron or do whatever you're trying to do so yeah get you a nice heavy duty stand or whatever. even better than this okay um this is nice and heavy duty i do like it but one day i will upgrade you know so yeah about adhesives if you're planning on gluing it down or sewing it down of course everybody knows you need thread um so that's major key if you're doing it on clients i will get the big the big thread i don't like nylon thread um some stylists like it i mean it's up to you 
try different things that's what i'm gonna say try different things try different adhesives see what you like best see what works out for you because just because something is extra hyped up don't mean that that's the best on the market um let's talk about adhesives the first adhesive i'm going to talk about is boho this is what she looked like and it's basically a white glue this reminds me of ghost bond a lot of you, a lot of people use Boho or Ghost Bun, but Boho you have to order online. Ghost Bun is sell in the hair store, so it depends on your preference. I haven't used Ghost Bun. I only tried Boho so far, and I like it. Um, and yeah, it. I think it, it's the same direction as you apply it. You let it dry down, let it turn clear. Apply another layer, let it turn clear, and then apply your lace. Um, so yeah. So, I also forgot to talk to you guys about this adhesive. This is the Got To Be Glue. The other ones are real lace adhesives, real lace glue. I like those because don't know why they got time to keep on taking off their wig unless you're a YouTuber or whatever. And you switch your wigs often. So, yes, Got To Be Glue. I used to use this at first and I liked it, but it don't last long. And I like the black one, the yellow one, it flakes and it's white already. It's, but the only thing about that one is it's sticky right off the bat. Like this one, you have to let, let it dry down. It's no, like you can't look at it and be like, okay, it's clear. Cause it's already clear or whatever versus the real laser glue. It turns clear, it comes out white. So yeah. You would just have to blow dry it and, you know, make sure it's tacky. And, yeah, it holds very, very good. If you sweat a lot, no, you need real lace glue. And sometimes real lace glue don't even work for the sweaters. So, yeah. The next adhesive, I never tried, obviously, because it's still in the pack, uh, is the Crazy Hole um, adhesive. And you can also get this out of the store. I was on a hunt to try to find something that I can go and buy in the store. This is before Ghost Bun was available in store. So yeah, I haven't tried this yet. Um, they have also have those like glues in the hair store, like Walker tape. Um, they're messier from what I see, they're messier. So yeah, this is kind of the same thing except in the tube. So yeah. Um, also, tapes. You can also apply your lace with tape. I don't know how they sell yours at the hair store, but this is the Walker tape. Um, my friend always say, Ray, get it while it's fresh. You know, you don't want to use it old. You don't know how long they had it there. Blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. I haven't used it old yet. So we'll figure that out. But I don't really like the tape because you can see it through the lace. So yeah, that's that. Um, a couple of days maybe after it melts down into your skin and you don't really have to worry about it too much, but yeah, and also Boho has tape. That was the Walker's tape. And Boho also has tape as well. It comes like this. If you can see. So yeah, that's how the Boho tape come. And you pull it off and you stick it down and yeah. Um, you also need caps, these skin tone caps or whatever, different colors. I get mine from Amazon. I get everything from Amazon, okay? That is my jam. The hair store don't be having the color caps that we need all the time. So, yeah, I get mine from Amazon. And they come in different colors besides these. So, if you go on there, you know, look at it. And you should always wear a cap under your wig to protect your braids and stuff. And so that your lace that's coming through is the same color as your skin tone. I just, I like that method. So, yes. And, yeah. A band. If you're doing a closure wig or a frontal wig, me personally, like, I'm going to glue it down. So, I just feel like, what's the point of, of putting a band in? And also, you can also use... Your bands from your, like, the, the extra access port that you cut off of your frontal, you can actually use that. But the band is to secure the wig and to make sure that it is snug on your head. And, yeah, girl, that's, that's what it's for. To make sure that your wig don't go nowhere or whatever.
You also need, I'm just telling you all tools that you're going to need. You can use a curling wand if you have that. But you need a hot comb, sis. Okay, you need a hot comb. Mine's a little burnt up. Don't judge. <laughs> but you need a hot comb. And I have the one that plugs up. You can get the one that you put on the stove. But you're going to need this to uh, actually press like your frontal out to make sure that it is super duper flat and this is curly hair then I, I i still would press it out and just yeah so just press it out at the rules basically that's what you're doing pressing it down at the rules to make it extra flat so yeah and you also need t-pins t-pins yes to go in your wig heads as you can see I have them all in my wig heads. They everywhere. So yeah, you're definitely gonna need that those to hold your wig down, to place your tracks in place, and to just make it show popping. Okay, this is the wig I made this on a 22 um, dome cap, and I also put a band in it. This is what I mean by you guys can use your own band. And when I put it on, let me get it on first. Hey girl, you looking like a snack. So like it just fit perfect. It just went on perfect. It fit perfect. The only thing what I when I say about the band is you still have to put glue. Like even though it's flat right here in this area, you still have to put glue down to glue it down on the sides if you want to wear it up and down and stuff. So yes. Yes, for the wig. If you guys want to have a review on this wig, I'm so heavily bald headed. <laughs> if you want a review on this um wig, I, I am showing you the whole process. I'm doing a series, okay? So this is a part of the series. And if you want me to show you, uh, I mean, tell you about the hair and do a review on the actual hair itself, let me know in the comments because I will. And yeah. So yes guys this wraps up this video oh no it don't wig caps let's talk about that i don't have any right now with me on hand but i like the dome caps um the mesh ones they're my favorite because it allows your hair to breathe like your scalp to breathe because it's knit the other ones are, are more like closed in so yeah um now this wraps up the video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that notification bell okay and yeah guys i hope you enjoyed and i hope you learned what you need to start the process and yeah i'll try to leave all the stuff that i said in the video in the description box and to add on oh so that i used in the description box and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys